In this tutorial, you will be working with a timesheet tracker as you learn about summary tables and formulas. Let's explore the document together. The owner of this document is a company that works with many contractors across different departments. This page makes it easy for contractors to log their timesheets each month and submit those timesheets to the correct account. The company's payroll team needs to keep track of those timesheets and easily capture total expenses by month, by account, and by contractor. Let's look at the raw data that underpins this entire document. We have a table of months where HR can determine to which months contractors may add new timesheets by simply toggling the allow edits column. Next, there's a table of people which lists the contractors themselves, includes their contact information and their hourly rate. Here's a table of accounts, account numbers and their descriptions. The timesheets table allows the payroll team to add a timesheet month specific to each contractor. This makes the month appear in the month selector card in the enter timesheet page. Next, we have timesheet entries. This table grows as contractors add their hours worked each day per account. And finally, we have instructions which are displayed in the enter timesheet page. Let's view this as a contractor named Rudy. With GRIST access control rules, we can limit what Rudy sees so that he can only select himself in the enter timesheet page. He can only enter timesheet entries in the month where edits are allowed. If he tries to add a timesheet to a month where edits are not allowed, he will be prohibited from doing so. He can't see the month or contract summary pages. He can't see the table of months where HR toggles edit permissions. In the people page, he can only see himself and his contact information. He can only see his timesheets, his timesheet entries. He can see all accounts and he can read the instructions. Let's return to the owner view. Our goal in this tutorial is to recreate the month summary and the contractor summary pages. We will start from a version of this template that is missing those two pages. In the next video, we will create these summary tables together.